Hi, hi, hi! Welcome back to Madam Wan's channel. Today, we are going to continue our lesson which is 5.2e which is solving trigonometry equation. If you missed the video for 5.1 and 5.2 where we have covered changing angles from radian to degree from degree to radian and 5.2 where we have covered finding a values for some given special angles finding the complementary angles you may check the link below are you ready if yes let's get started 5.2e solving trigonometry equation there are five steps that you need to follow the first one is finding the quadrant for example given uh, sine theta equals to 1 over 2 so sine located at the first and the second quadrant where the value is positive and then the second one is finding the basic angle and then the third one is to draw and then the fourth one is finding the interval given from the question and then the last one list down all the solution let's look at the example example one find cos theta equals to one over two where theta is in between zero until 360 degree so remember in the previous lesson we have learned that add sugar to coffee where we know that at the first quadrant all sine tangent cos is positive at the second quadrant only sine is positive at the third quadrant tangent is positive while lastly at the fourth quadrant only cos is positive in our question given that 1 over 2 is positive therefore quadrant and at the fourth quadrant that is the first step we have done the first step which is um, determine the quadrant and then the second step is finding the basic angle so the basic angle is shift cos 1 over 2 you may press a calculator it will give you 60 degree or you may use the previous knowledge where we have covered finding special angles and then the third one is draw 60 degree is at the first quadrant and we know as well that from here to here is 60 degree as well but negative because it's rotated clockwise direction the angle that we want is from zero until here so can you tell me what's the values so 360 degree minus 60 will give us 300 yes okay next the first step is interval so like in our case the interval given is in between 0 until 360 degree and our question our question asking for theta only so we just leave it we will look at the few more example where given the question for example cos 2 theta cos 2 theta minus 75 therefore so our solution is 60 degree and 300 degree easy let's try the next question tangent theta equals to negative one please give extra attention here now we are dealing with negative therefore Tangent is negative at the second and the fourth quadrant. So, second step is finding the basic angle. Shift tangent 1. Do not press calculator. Include the negative, yeah? Negative is only to show which quadrant it is located. Okay, shift tangent 1 is 45 degree. And then the next step is... draw so after draw it's 45 and here is 45 too 
but we want the angle from here to here therefore it is 180 minus 45 will give us 135 and at the fourth quadrant we know that 45 is here negative because it is a clockwise direction but we are finding from zero until here so 360 minus 45 will give us 315 okay so we have done the draw part and then at the fourth the first step the first step is theta list down all our solution which is theta equals to 135 degree and 315 degree question c given that sine theta equals to 3 cos theta extra attention here we have trigonometry on the both side so we just bring this to the left so if this is multiplication you bring to the left it will be at the bottom divide okay so cos theta equals to 3 so this is also equivalent to tangent theta equals to 3 so these are actually we are dealing with tangent tangent is positive at the first and third quadrant okay the next step is finding the basic angle so basic angles is shift tangent 3 which is will give us 71.565 so we round off it will be coming 71.57 okay and the third step is draw so we know that the basic angle is 71.57 first quadrant answer and the at the third quadrant we want the degree from here to here okay so we know that one half rotation is 180 degree we plus with 71 here 71.57 will give us 251.57 since given in the question is only theta not 2 theta or 2 theta minus 75 or plus 35 so we just leave it as it is for now okay and lastly we list down all our answer therefore theta is equals to 71.57 and 251.57 okay if just now we are able to find theta now we are finding two theta okay since I already write the solution here, I will just explain to you, okay? So, given that sine 2 theta equals to negative, so negative, our first step, determine the quadrant. So, negative is at the third and fourth quadrant, okay? We move on on the next step. We are finding the basic angle for shift sine 1 over 2. We get 30 and then the third step here is the crucial part yeah because if just now we are given theta so we do nothing about it but now we have two theta so if you want to theta we multiply two on the left and we multiply two on the right so zero times two which is zero 360 times two will give us 720 degree okay and what does that mean okay on the first step here we are going to draw okay let me explain clearly okay so if we are going to draw this the basic angle is 30 degree but we want at the third and the fourth quadrant 
So at the third quadrant, we want from here to here. So what we, we are doing is 180 degree plus 30 degree here will give us 210. And at the fourth quadrant, why you want fourth quadrant? Because sign negative at fourth quadrant. So 360 minus 30 will give us 313. And because it is 2 theta just now, we are going to rotate twice. So we are finding this angle. Okay, we just add 360 over here. We, we give us 570 and we plus 360 over here. We give us 690. And last step, we are going to resolve all our solution, which is 2 theta equals to 210, 330, 570, and 690. But bear in mind, that is 2 theta. But what we want is theta. So we have to divide 2 for every answers here. And that will give us this okay if just now we have a look at the problems in finding theta and then we're done with two theta and now we are going to find theta plus or minus with another angles which is alpha or beta whatever you want to call it okay so first step same step the first one we are finding cos positive at first and fourth quadrant and then next you are finding basic angle theta minus 70 degree so shift cost 1 over 2 we give us 60 and then the third step the interval so interval is theta is in between 0 and 360 degree but this time it's no longer theta but it's theta minus 70 so we have to modify a little bit for our interval so if we want theta minus 70 degree so we have to minus 70 over here as well and 360 minus 70 is 290 degree okay finding angle from negative eh? from here negative Rotating clockwise until negative 70 until 290. Okay. So if here is 270, so we have to find until here 290. Okay. So the basic angle is 60 degree, which we're going to take that since we are finding cos positive at the first quadrant and the next one is usually what we did is we are finding from here to here so what we did is 360 degree minus 60 and it will give us 300 but it is out of the range now 290 we have to find the angle which is lies in between the intervals so we cannot do this okay so what we have to do is we have to to turn backward which is negative 60 degree is ne negative 60 degree inside the interval yes it is within the interval so we have to take that this as our answer okay so we list down all the values Theta minus 70 equals to negative 60 and 60 degree. Therefore, theta equals to, we want theta. So, negative bring to the right will give us positive. So, 10 degree 60 plus 70 will give us 130. We are coming to an end where this is the toughest question. Because it has triple angle over here and then minus another angle. If you able to do this kind of question, I'm pretty sure you will be able to solve all of the question related to finding angle. Okay. So first step. Cos positive at the first and fourth quadrant. 
okay and then second step finding the basic angle 3 theta minus 75 so shift cost 0 0.5 equals to 60 degree okay and then third step the interval so if the interval is in between 0 until 360 now we want 3 theta okay we do 3 theta first so we multiply every numbers with 3 so 0 times 3 is 0 360 times 3 give us 1080 okay now we want 3 theta minus 75 okay so minus 75 here and then you press your calculator we give you 1005 okay so meaning that we have to find all the theta which is lies in between negative 75 up to 1005 okay mm. we are going to draw okay the basic angle here is 60 degree but bear in mind, bear in mind that we have to consider the backward, the clockwise direction as well, where the angle is negative. So, we have to consider negative 60 as well. So, we have negative 60, we have 60 degree. And then, since it is 3 rotation, so if we want let's say from here with another rotation this one another rotation meaning that we are going to plus with 360 so we plus 360 at negative 60 will give us 300 and then this will give us 420 okay since it is triple we just now we only uh, rotate twice now the third rotation plus with another 360 which will give us 660 and 780 degree okay so now we are going to list down all our values here so 3 theta minus 75 degree is equals to negative 60 60 300 420 660 and 780 okay but bear in mind we want theta okay so we have to plus all our answer with 75 and divide with 3 which will give us 5 degree 45, 125, 165, 245, and 285, which I have calculated earlier. Okay. I really hope by doing this example, all of you already mastered in finding the angle not just the positive angle but the negative angle as well when given the theta is in between negative 180 or negative 360 okay that's it from me i'll see you on the next video 5.4